For those who I wish to protect, I will fight you! Round one. Fight! I just froze my game down to 10 frames per second. You can see the PS4 side is skipping like crazy. I am now going to push this back to zero. And you can see that the PS4 side is still skipping like crazy. Now, I'm going to let this go to the end of the round. So you can see that it'll actually resync again. So what's happening is, at the start of the round, when it says fight, the game is looking at the latency, but it's, all, but it's also looking at the frame rate. Because what happens is, when PS4 lags behind by a couple frames, at the start of the round when it says fight, the netcode is thinking that is a, that's actual lag. So say the game's lagging one frame, two frames, three frames, they're reading that as milliseconds of time. So three, like one frame equals 16.6 .6 milliseconds. So if you time that by the amount of frames that it's behind, that's going to cause the artificial Mind lag over. on the other person's game. That's, and since PS, PC is holding 60 FPS, but PS4 is lagging behind, Final round. that's making the PC Mind. game delayed and the PS4 sped up, even though there's no lag actually causing that. Now this is the next round. You can see that there's everything's fine. There's no issue. Both players are still moving correctly. It's because of the variable input time on the frame rate for the PS4. And as we all know, when the PS4 is loading stuff, it tends to lag. So this is why the rounds are getting worse over time. Because Digital Foundry did a video when this game first came out and showed that in round one, the frame drops weren't that bad. But over subsequent rounds, they dropped all the way down to 54. So this is proof. It took me freaking forever to figure this out, but I was able to do it and test it and prove that if there's a variable frame rate during the start of the round, it will cause additional rollback that's not in the game. 